Citizen. Greetings from Southern Yankee Homestead. If this is your first time, welcome. Yep. Oh yeah. If this is your first time, welcome. Been a little bit since we filmed, so if you're a returning viewer, welcome, welcome back. back. Today we're going to do a tour of the gardens. Please forgive us uh, with everything going on. Uh, they got away from us a little bit. Yeah. Uh, if you saw our little short we had a couple weeks ago, then you know that we're trying something different. We're getting things figured out as, well, anyone can that has kids. you got to figure it out as you go along. Yep. So we are going to start in our lower garden. This is our secondary garden. As you can see, it's, it's gotten away with us a little bit. But prior to all of this, we had some spinach in here. Um, over here. Okay. That's a lot of volunteer sunflower. So we typically feed our goats raw sunflower seeds. And all these sunflower trees in here uh, came from when we cleaned the goat barn and put the compost in our garden and till it up. This is all the volunteer sunflower seeds. So we did not plant any sunflower seeds. You don't want this hat on your head, huh? So, yeah. And I can't wait until it's ready. And I think this one was because we were missing some seeds. But as soon as they're ready, I'm gonna be picking them and making some sunflower seeds for us, roasted. So the first set of things we planted were spinach, and we have some spinach going to head for Seed. seeds, like there, those tall plants. And then next we had lettuce. We planted some lettuce in here. Yeah, I see a couple more ants. Uh, it's Japanese seeds. beetles. I think this is ready. Isn't this ready, honey? I can see the seeds, or is it too small? They're too small still. Oh, well, something's still growing. It. Yeah, they've been pollinated, but they're still growing. Yeah. And the second set of stuff we have planted in here are the lettuce, and they look beautiful. I'm not sure if they're bitter yet because it's getting super hot, but we need to pick some more lettuce. So we, we had salad almost every day just before the beginning of summer. And the more you pick the lettuce, is the fluffier it gets and more it grows. Now we've planted some peppers over there. Three types of peppers. We got your standard green. We got, I don't remember what those are. I had tags, but they look like they washed away. Uh, and then we also got some, the third ones there, those are poblanos. And then we got some spicy red peppers of some sort there in the middle. And after that, I have to have my eggplants. I love eggplants too. And then we've got okra. And over behind the okra in there, yeah, you'll, you'll go around for them. we'll go around to them. Yeah. And here we have some green onions. And here we've got cantaloupe. And then those rows are corn. So if you see, I gotta get back in here, but right there, there, there. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six in this little batch here. That is our second planting of corn. We'll get to our first planting in a little bit. Yeah, and this is like yeah, so this is like our second garden. Well, no, our second set of things we planted in this. So here you see our potatoes. Unfortunately, because of timing, we weren't able to do what we wanted to do with them, which is stack them. We ended up taking the baby on a ride to New York and seeing family and up to Connecticut. So. These grew too tall for us to go in here and do it. And it looks like something has been trampling them. So that's something for next year that we got to do is try to keep the potatoes from being trampled. Hopefully we'll get some out of it. And then of course, our herb garden. These are just about ready. They are going to be harvested very soon. Don't know how soon or what I'm going to actually do with it, but we're going to harvest it anyways. Yeah. 
Yeah, one in the water. And why? Oh, that's um, these balls. Like, why is that one ring thing? She looks fat. And I think she buries her eggs when she's not on them. Mm -hmm. She buries it in the hay. Mm -hmm. Guys, look. There's only one there, and I'm sure that one in there is mm -hmm. a new one. I won't be surprised if there are like a whole dozen of eggs in there that she keeps burying. Hiding. <laughs> So this is our primary garden and this one we started planting it exactly April around 1st. April 1st. Yeah, we had everything in the ground. And you see how tall the corn are? If we're lucky, we'll get ears for 4th of July because I see some big ears on there already. Over here we have green beans and some of the beans are ready to be picked. And then we have green beans in there as well. We've got green beans pretty much stuck in any little area we could have because we love green beans. And there's a number of green beans and the zucchini. And we do have a few baby zucchinis in there. Can you get that baby zucchini? If you see that the beans are in different sta stages, like right here, we got some that are pluck pluckable and some that are still growing. We had some areas that didn't fill in, so we went ahead and planted more in the gaps so that we'll have a second, maybe a third run of beans. No, corn's not ready. How would you know when they're ready? Uh, the They'll be bigger, and the husks will be a different color, if I'm not mistaken. They'll start to change a little. They're still a little small. Now, off the end of the beans, we have cucumbers. Down to the corner, and then all the way down to the next set of beans, down beyond those tomatoes. So if you, in the middle of our corn, you can see something that doesn't quite look like corn. And then if you look in the garden as well, we've got tomatoes. Can you zoom out? How did you get in there? There's a chicken in the garden. Here, hold this. Black. You want to hold the camera? Hannah's chasing a chicken. Hannah's chasing a chicken. Oh, got it. Does he belong in there? He does now. He got into the garden, he's carrying it up. He's in there now. Look at the tomato. That's what he gets for running away from home. He gets re home. He's not being adopted. So as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by a random chicken. All of these tomatoes are actually volunteer tomatoes. These are from last year or the year prior. Wherever the tomato seeds dropped, just a couple of them, we have a row over there. Those were transplanted because they were in a big batch. So we don't know what type of tomatoes we have. We just know without buying any, the tomatoes from last year have reseeded and we've now got tomatoes. So if you see, we got two rows, those little white flowers, those are cilantro. Uh, we've got some cilantro harvested, but for the most part, those are going to seed now. This is another bean. In the U.S., they call these asparagus beans. 
but for Han, where she's from, they're called Bora, B-O-R-A. Uh, these are actually some of our better growing beans in this area for whatever reason. Land that is a Bora flower. Then, if as we get down here, it might get a little rough to see, but this entire row here, other than the random tomato in the middle, that's all sweet potatoes. And then over here, we have peanuts, as well as more beans a random okra plant or two. And we finish it with carrots. All the way down. Yeah, all the way back to the entrance, almost to the zucchini. And two volunteer tomato plants. And two volunteer tomato plants. Now, dispersed through some of this over here also, we have uh, basil planted in here, but it's still very young. Um, I'm in the process of going through and weeding out the garden. Uh, the carrots, the, one of the reasons why they're so uh, random right now is because, well, the weeds took them over. So we've got that under control now. Um, so I'm working my way around into this mess over here. Polarized lenses, I couldn't see. You can actually get shade. So over here in the orchard, you'll notice that we got a couple patches in here in between the trees. These are watermelons. That still needs to be mulched. But... We also have one more over here. We also happen to have a volunteer pumpkin, we think. Come on, focus. So we believe this pumpkin is one of the seeds from the uh, pumpkin harvesting video we did last year. At the end of the year you'll see that we had a uh, video where we got some free pumpkins and we harvested all the seeds. Well, I think some of the seeds made their way out here and replanted themselves in the gravel in front of the garage. Might not get any pumpkin out of it, but we're keeping it watered and alive. So, that is a quick tour of the garden. That's not all we have edible on the property. That's just the stuff we planted this year or that is planted itself. So, anything else you want me to say? No. Plant a seed. I don't know. Plant a seed. See what grows. Yep. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And to stay tuned to our channel to see what we do with all the stuff we harvest. Got to do some preservation. That way we have stuff to eat this winter. Yep. Thanks for watching. Bye. -bye. Bye.